Welcome back to my channel everyone, Sri Tips here. And what we're gonna do today is uh, try an experiment. This is some high purity gold sponge. And we're gonna make some electrolyte by dissolving this pure gold sponge in some 29% hydrogen peroxide and hydrochloric acid. And then uh, we're gonna use these bars of pure gold over here. We're gonna cast those into an anode bar and then set up an electrolytic gold refining cell and refine these gold bars from three nines fine into four nines fine pure gold. To begin the experiment, we're gonna put 90 grams of this pure gold into this beaker 90 grams of pure gold sponge going into the beaker. There we go, we got 92, 90.2 grams. I've got a little bit of sponge left over and I'll offer some of this for sale on my eBay site. Sell it by the gram. Now we'll take the beaker with the 90 grams of gold in it, set it up on some heat, and I'll add some hydrochloric acid, uh, say about half a liter of hydrochloric acid to the pure gold sponge. And we're gonna start adding some heat to our gold and hydrochloric acid mixture. If you look here, I've got a, uh, a separatory type funnel. And what we're gonna do is add some 29% hydrogen peroxide. Let's put a lid on our reaction beaker. What I'll do now is start slowly dripping the 29% hydrogen peroxide down into the beaker that contains our hydrochloric acid and our gold. Just drip it a little bit at a time. You don't want this going too fast because it will bubble over in a heartbeat. Here you can see I'm dripping the hydrogen peroxide very slowly down into the uh, acid gold mixture in the beaker. Now what we'll do is put this thing on time lapse and we're gonna dissolve this gold. And we're gonna use this dissolved gold for the electrolyte for our electrolytic gold refining cell. got just about air, all the gold to go in solution now. So what we'll do is we'll turn off our uh, hydrogen peroxide drip. And we'll go ahead and uh, turn off the heat and let this cool down. I need to cast these four bars into an anode bar in this mold but before i do that i need to create a stringer or some type of device that i can uh, cast into the bar to uh, hook it on the edge of the beaker so my plan is to take some of this pure gold here and what we'll do is i've got this mold turned sideways and a piece of metal down here and I'm gonna heat this up real hot and try to pour a long stringer piece from this gold. So I'm gonna go in and put my mask on 
I'm gonna start this torch and then I'm gonna put my mask on and we're gonna melt this gold and try to make a long piece that we can use to hook onto the anode bar so it'll clip over the side of the beaker. Here we go. What I'm trying to do is create a long slender piece that can be used as a stem for the anode bar so I can hook it over the edge of the beaker and connect the positive side of the power supply to the anode bar. I think I got it the shape that I wanted in I've lost power and so we're gonna have to suspend our operation here but that's kind of what I was after and we'll use this as a connection point for the anode bar here's my plan I'm gonna start the torch and heat this mold up and then when it gets nice and hot I'll take my anode connection, set it up here, let it get hot, and then I'll pour the molten gold out of this dish into the mold, and it should fuse the anode connection to the anode bar. That's about 10 ounces of gold in there. So now we're gonna start the torch, start heating the mold. I'm gonna go in and put my mask on and we'll start melting the gold. 
and get this anode bar cast. Alright, that worked out pretty good. Here's our anode bar. Alright, let's get down in here and see what we got. I think this is gonna work out pretty good. If I got a good enough connection there. I've got the experiment all set up now. I'm going to be using a 40 amp power supply because last time I did this experiment with this small cell, I drew about four amps during the cell operation with this little bitty titanium cathode. It's about two square inches. And this time around, I've got a, uh, a larger titanium cathode, about eight square inches, and a much larger anode bar. But if you look here, I did not get a good adhesion on the back of this uh, anode bar. So I got out my brazing tip, and I uh, brazed the gold uh, little hook here. To the bar so we've got a better connection last thing I need is for that thing to fall off of there during the during the experiment and break the beaker but what we'll do this will conclude part one of the series here's our electrolyte I'll filter that we'll add it to the cell and then we'll energize the power supply what will happen is the uh, gold over here will dissolve travel through the electrolyte and deposit on our titanium cathode. Okay, this will conclude part one of the electrolytic gold refining cell. Thanks for watching.